Today we're going to be doing a teardown on the Razer Kishi V2 Pro controller. The controller is fairly simple. It does extend like this. And in order to unscrew it, you're going to need a few tools. Mainly you're going to need a T4 drill bit to get inside of these holes here. And that's where you begin. So we'll start off by removing these eight screws from the back. Once you have all four of these screws removed, this part should be able to just come right off as you can see. And all you do is you pull on it and just like that, it comes off. The top trigger buttons may start to fall out. So you're gonna have to put them in back carefully when reassembling the controller. So here are all of the parts for the left side and now let's do the right side. And then once you have all of the screws removed, this side should be able to also pop right out. Now you do is you simply push up on it. And just like that, this side comes off as well. And then here's a close up on the right side of the controller. You can see that there is a belt here running to the logic board and that is under there. And then if we take a look at the left side, I can just simply open it up like so. And then you can also see the belt running to the logic board here. And you can also disassemble this by simply removing a few screws. If we flip this over, this is what the front looks like with the D-pad and then on the back, it looks like so. So now let's go ahead and actually reassemble this thing. To reassemble it, the first thing we need to do is get this trigger back in place. So if you have tweezers, I definitely recommend you use some because there's going to be some very small micro parts here. And then once you get the little trigger in, all you do is you flip the side over and then just kind of bring it into place and press it down. It should be able to clip in. And you want to test all the triggers to make sure they work before screwing everything in. Everything seems to be working, so we're going to screw in the bolts on the right side of the controller. So we now have these bolts screwed in, and let's test the triggers to make sure they all work. All right, this looks good. Now let's do the other side. Once, into, once it's intact, it should be able to click and make that clicking noise. And then we wanna get this larger trigger and mount it up on here. And once that's in place, you should be able to hear the click. And then once that's in place, you just gently put it down and then add the shell on top. Make sure this analog part is centered. Just go ahead and press on it slowly. And you should be good to go. And before screwing everything in, again, make sure all the triggers sound good. And the analog clicks, everything seems to be intact. So now be very careful to not let this fall because everything, you have to reassemble everything. And then just screw in these bolts here. And then once everything is screwed in, it should be working as it was originally. And that's how you do a teardown on the Razer Kishi V2 Pro controller. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.